I saw a video by another YouTuber this morning. Uh, this particular YouTuber has me blocked. Um, not exactly going to call this person a friend, but I guess you can say an acquaintance. And this person is from California. He was talking about Facebook people that are famous. And people like you and me and the guy down the street adding those Facebook channels to our channel. And uh, that just gave me a thought, you know, there could be people out there that put in the name of a famous YouTuber or a famous Facebooker to make you think that they are them. And they're actually not. But there's one thing you can't deny is there are a few popular Facebook people out there that actually get in front of the camera while they're doing videos there and put video on their channels or they'll mention something that you know about them so you know it's them or they respond directly to you. Um, probably the two most well-known Facebook people that I know, and both respond back to me, would be Chris Perillo, who used to uh, host a show on Tech TV, which is now known as the G4 Network, called Call for Help. It was a computer call-in uh, self-help show. In other words, like, if you were having an issue with your computer, you wanted to know what to do, you call the show. And Chris would take phone calls on the show and answer your question. And he would like have this one thing, it was like an application of the week, you know, or application of the day. And he would show you all these different things you, you didn't know. And I watched that show the whole time that was on. And then shortly after the show got canceled, uh, Chris kind of started doing his own thing from his own house on uh, Ustream.tv and then uploading the archives up to YouTube and to Facebook and he responds to email you send him an email he will get back to you might be a one-word reply but consider that he is probably answering hundreds of emails every day of the week and he's kind of the go-to guy for technology and it's good it's good when somebody that has been on television interacts with their audience still as we speak today. I like that. Uh, another person on Facebook that I've gotten to know, a uh, former Philadelphia Flyers goaltender from the 1970s, Bernie Perrant. Uh, he is a uh, Facebook, I would say Facebook acquaintance of mine. Uh, I have posted stuff, stuff on his channel. He has responded to it. I can tell you out of a crowd, okay, this is Bernie. But Bernie probably couldn't say, okay, this is Ed. He doesn't know me personally, but he has responded to me. And I think that's pretty cool. And then you got other people uh, that do videos, their own videos. On, uh, on Facebook, uh, Sharon Core of the uh, Irish band, The Coors. Uh, she has her own uh, channel, and, uh, and 
she also gets involved in Twitter and she kind of lets everybody know what's going on in her life but you, you really got to consider now now you're talking thousands of people trying to respond to her and she has to respond back to them and there's just not enough time in the day to do that but outside there being a whole bunch of channels out there that are probably fake there are some out there that are real and there are also some people out there that started out on YouTube, started out on Facebook, and now are famous because of that. Uh, Shea Carl, Knotts, uh, uh, Zipster08. These guys started out as not being known at all and have used YouTube and Facebook to elevate them to where a lot of people now know who they are. I'd like to hear your comments on this one. And as usual, thank you for allowing me to bore you. And have a great day. Bye.